Good morning, good morning. It is the day of the fundraiser. We are yeah. ready, uh, packed. I think we got everything. Got the cookies, got the lemonade. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go grab some probably Mickey D's breakfast real quick because we can't, we don't have time to make breakfast this yeah, morning. Yeah, we gotta roll. We gotta roll. So we're gonna grab some breakfast, get out there and get set up. Let's do it. So this is our setup, guys. <laughs> we got our um, posters, flyers for Big Family Rescue, the items that we need, the lemonade, the cookies. I love the baggies, Avery. And Avery helped me with all these cookies. And we've got all these flyers to hand out. We had to hold them down because, y'all, this wind is 15 to 20 miles an hour. So we got all these little flyers and papers to hand out. And our board that we made, our lovely board. We need your help to rescue them. Please help support a local family-run shelter. Donate any amount and get lemonade and homemade chocolate chip cookie. Yep, I think it's great. It's a good setup. Y'all are not gonna believe this. So I thought I should film it just as proof. This is a cat that I found. I tried to pull out my phone and film, but my phone was acting up. My camera wasn't working right. I found it here at Walmart. I was in the garden center. I was shopping for a peach tree and among the trees, like sleeping under a peach, peach tree in one of those pots, like at Walmart in the garden center, was a cat. The cat was just napping in the garden center under a peach tree. <laughs> and I was like, that's a cat sleeping under that tree. I just walked up to it. I picked it up. It lets me hold it. It lets me touch it and pet it. I mean, it doesn't know me or anything. And it's just letting me touch and let me hold. I, I took that as a sign that I'm supposed to take this kitty home. I mean... It was sitting in the garden center at Walmart. Like, I'm, I'm just going to take it home and take care of it. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> y'all, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Y'all, like, how in the world? Like, who finds a cat at Walmart in, in the garden center? Not, like, roaming the parking lot. Like, sleeping under a plant in a, in a pot. <laughs> Baby was just sleeping. I mean... I don't know if it's it's okay or not. I'm not sure if something's wrong with it. It seems very skinny. It does need some food. Might be malnourished, but it just, it was, I guess, so used to people. It just let me pick, pick it up and carry it. So if that ain't a sign, y'all, I don't know what is. Like, you're coming home with me, kitty. We're, we're gonna get you fixed up. We're gonna get you all that you need. We're gonna get you squared away. Okay, and I'm back right here in the spot where I found the kitty because I had to come get the peach tree because I, I couldn't get the peach tree when I saw the cat. I had to like drop everything and carefully scoop the kitty and hold the kitty in my arms and get it out to the truck. Couldn't even get my peach tree. So I came back and I got my peach tree to match the other one I have at home because you need to have two. But this is the spot where I found kitty right here. I was literally shopping through the trees, y'all. And right there in that pot curled up next to that tree right there was the kitty. And there's no other cats around here. I've checked. There's no kittens. There's no sign of other cats. It was just sleeping, just, you know, resting easy. And it just lifted its head and looked at me and meowed. And no other sign of life around here except for that one cat just by itself. I guess it needed some help. And like I said, y'all, I'm going to take that as a sign that I need to take care of that cat. I'm going to take that as a sign that it needs me or I was meant to find it. It needs my help. So I'm going to do what I need to do to take care of that kitty. That's just... A circumstance you don't come across every day that was very fortuitous that was crazy like uh, the strays are literally falling from the sky and, and just finding us they're just the strays know where we are and they're just finding us <laughs> so we don't have to go looking for them that's a good thing and y'all Wes is never gonna believe me my husband's never gonna believe me about what just happened because that never happens to anybody so I'm glad I got it on camera I'm glad I got some sort of proof and footage of that. <laughs> so let me get home and get this stuff unloaded and get this kitty into our house and uh, slowly, slowly introduce it to the others through a cage so and see how they get along. Yeah. yeah. Oh, baby scared. Yeah. Miss Wendy, that's what you It is. It's about to pour down rain tonight. It's about to storm. Yeah, real bad. And it needs a bath. And it's a smaller, yeah, younger cat. baby what if it's like a water baby and loves water and loves baths all right you stand over here i don't want to spray you with cold water yeah let's get it to temperature are you okay with water it's okay okay it won't get you all right we're gonna get you all washed up and he's just looking at me like why are you doing what this? is going on yeah we're gonna get you all scrubbed up and clean and then dry you off Get you some food, yeah. Get you comfortable, baby. He said no. Oh, oh, oh. It's all right. Just keep him calm, yeah. 
Good boy. He's drinking it. Good boy. Oh, you need some food and water. Yeah. You need food and water. Just that bad. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Ooh, good. Ooh, yeah. Good. He's a, he's a wait. It's filling up. Why is it filling up? <laughs> That's good. Just a little bit on the paws. Yeah. There, there you go. go. That's a good baby. He said, I want out now. That's a good baby. Please. Here's a washcloth for your little face. He said, please, please, can Here's I get out now? Here's a washcloth for your face. He said, can I get out now? I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> I know. Bath is not the favorite. All right. Hold on. Stay. 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 No. <laughs> Stay. It's a new. He said, no. Never had a bath before. Oh, no, no. You're like Gary. Try and slip away. It's like a warm massage. <laughs> oh, you poor little baby. Oh. <laughs> let's get you dried up, baby. Yeah, let's get you dried up and fed, my loves. <laughs> oh, my loves. We'll take care of it. Yeah, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. <laughs> Sweet baby. All right, I got the sweet baby tucked away. It has been washed. It feels better. It ate every bit of wet food we gave it. We got a water dish and food dish in here. I know this is a very small cage. This is not where it's going to live forever, I promise. It's only a temporary potty and food source and safe place for it until I take it to the vet tomorrow morning. It's just got to hang in there for tonight, and I hope it feels better, and I hope we um, get a good clean bill of health from the doc. I hope there's nothing wrong with it. I hope it is every bit as healthy as I'm hoping it is. And um, it's definitely got a healthy appetite, so that's a good thing. And it snuggles, and I love it. I love it so much. I know it's a scary new place, baby, but hang in there tonight. Have a good night's sleep, and we'll go to the vet in the morning, okay? I love you. Good night. Y'all, my husband's so cute. He's so funny. So if it was, if it would have been a female, I was thinking about naming it like Peach because I found it under a peach tree, you know, so I thought that was appropriate. I was going to name it Peach or Peachy or something like that. But I looked at its back end and guys, it's a boy. <laughs> it is a male cat. So I was like, oh no, I can't name it Peach or Peachy. You know, it's not really a boy name. So what can I name it? You know, with it being a boy. And Wes is so cute and creative. He said, name it James for James and the Giant Peach. You know, have y'all ever seen that movie? That cute little animated movie for kids, James and the Giant Peach. I was like, that's perfect. That That is a good name. His name is James. Yep. Welcome to the family, little buddy. We're going to try to find you a permanent family, a permanent home. We're going to try to get you adopted. Anybody want little James, let me know. He is up for grabs as soon as I get him fixed and shots and fully vetted. He is up for adoption. And my whole seed order came, guys. I got my, my seeds, my tomatoes, my pumpkins, my beautiful things that I need to get started. So I'm out here in the greenhouse and I'm going to take my time planting seeds and it's going to make me so happy. <laughs> it is so satisfying, y'all. Avery decided to join me. She wanted to see the unveiling. <laughs> you want to see what I got? Yeah. You're going to like it, I promise. My Favorite. little mini gardener here just loves the stuff we buy. She yeah. loves the seeds. She loves growing all the things. Yeah. I got some pretty stuff. You're going to love it. A bag inside of the bag. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a lot. I know. <laughs> I may have gotten a little bit carried away. A little bit. Got stick. Sweet. What does it say? Wait. Let me see. It says, make gardening great again. Nice. I know a place I can put that. Okay. First, we got... Bella Rosa. Yeah, the Bella Rosas that died, I got to replant them. Yeah. So there we go. Bella Rosa. There you go. And then Red Snapper. Of course. Hossinator. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Lemon I Boy. I got to have my, my yellow tomatoes. I've got to. Yep. And then obviously, Sun Gold. Yeah. Tomato. We they call it a this. different name. Those are, oh no, those are Sun Golds. There was, yeah. there was one just like it that had a different name. Yeah. Okay, we're almost to the pumpkins. <laughs> Our <laughs> Chef's Gold Black Tomato. Chef's choice, Chef's yeah. Choice. Chef's choice black tomato. All right, guys, ready? And now the pumpkins. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Was it Marina D? Oh, I can't even say that. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even try. Yeah, that's that's a fancy it's name a for cool a green, uh, like festival pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, here's what you're. 
thing. Yeah, another. that uh, no, that, that's super sweet uh, cherry tomatoes. But there was There's a lot of tiny tomatoes. Yeah, there was another like orange or yellow. Um, separate the pumpkin. It was kind of like sun gold, just as sweet. Amish paste. Amish paste. I need a paste tomato. Florida ninety one. Right to tolerate heat. Chef choice. Yeah, orange tomato. my another orange tomato. I love it. And here's pumpkins. Okay, so we got the green ones. Yep. And we got new moon pumpkin. Mm hmm. Those big white ones. Then we got the giant orange ones, the mammoth. The, mammoth yeah, gold. mammoth gold pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that big. Festival squash. Yeah, those little decorative squash. I had to get them those little baby pumpkin looking things. Those are so Look cute. How pretty. And that's going to be perfect for like fall and Halloween time. And now, your favorite time, we get to planting. Yeah, let's get to plant. Let's do it. Can see him. How do you how do you like everything that we uh, have bought so far that we're I planting? I'm loving it. Yeah. Do you think it's, it's gonna so be a good pretty. spring uh, garden? You definitely. <laughs> this is gonna be like one of our best. Yeah. Good. Good. You like all the colorful little seeds and the different sizes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time Avery breaks open a package, y'all, she goes, "Ooh, that's green, or that's blue, mm. or that's coated, or that's not." <laughs> Gotta inspect it. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh, talk about planting until you got the last sliver of daylight. It is about to get dark on me, guys, but that is a lot of planted seed trays. Some stuff, you know, was already there growing before. Some stuff is newly planted, and I even got some over here. <laughs> Whole tray of basil restarted. All these um, herbs and lemon balm and oregano and marjoram and hyssop and hops and all the things, the beautiful flowers, bachelor button, chocolate cherry sunflowers, giant zinnias. I've even got some um, fall stuff planted. Y'all are going to call me crazy, but I got some cold weather stuff planted like the kale and the turnips. You know, just in case. I don't know how it'll do, but just in case. Watermelon babies are starting to come up. And uh, I've got all the other things, the pumpkins, um, snapdragons, more zinnias, delphinium, hollyhock. All the orange tomatoes, sun gold tomatoes. Beautiful things coming, guys. Of course, all these big slicer tomatoes of course and like i said some cold weather stuff lettuce beets cabbage fennel just in case because why not right it's worth a shot i mean worse that happens it gets too hot for it and it doesn't grow oh well i've got you know hot weather stuff coming oh do y'all hear that y'all see the wind moving through the trees Ooh, yeah that wind is coming like whoosh whoosh look at that sky look Ooh, I feel that storm rolling in, guys. Avery, what you doing? I'm working on sewing. Sweet. What you making? I'm making a overalls dress. Wow. Overalls dress? Yeah. Oh, how cute. Oh, that's pretty. Is that Winnie the Pooh? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Got a little pocket and everything. That red is a great match. Yeah. That. Okay, Hopefully, so if I do it right, I can get the side pockets as okay, well. Okay, so you did the little ruffles in the skirt. Yep. and Okay, and it's it got overalls that attach. Yep, yep. okay. Little straps. I'm about to sew on the buttons, too. Nice. All right. Good job, honey. That is cute. So you're going to wear, uh, like, T-shirts under it? Yeah. Okay, good. Good job. You're creative. Now that I'm back inside, guys, let me show you something real quick. This, I already boxed it up, but I'm going to rebox it so I can mail it here soon. I had to show you all the finished product, guys. I just had to show you. This is my completed and finished sweater. Y'all like it? <laughs> so I finished the sweater I was working on. It's super colorful. It's got a mix and blend of colors. I like it. It's got mostly purples and greens and it's so soft and comfy and it's like one of those comfy oversized sweaters and puffy sleeves and just like a you know, a rainy day or like a, a lazy Sunday on the couch, you know, something like that. It's just a nice, comfy, good sweater and just took me a little while to knit. Um, it would have taken me, if I had knit every day straight through and just like dedicated myself to it, it may have taken me two or three weeks, but it's taken me like two months now since I started because I wasn't, I wasn't on it every day. You know, I wasn't dedicated to it like I should have been. Life got busy and life got, you know, out of hand a little bit, but I got it done. So, got another sweater under my belt. And this is going to a very particular 
friend and subscriber of mine. I consider her my friend. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention names or anything, um, but when she gets it, it's a surprise to her. She doesn't know it's coming, but when she gets it, I hope it blesses her heart. I hope she loves it and appreciates it as much as I loved doing it and I loved knitting it. I just, I got so giddy every time I thought about her getting it and unboxing it as a gift, you know? So when she gets it, I hope she likes it. I hope she enjoys it. I hope she wears it. And she's a very special just admirer of our channel and a very good person and a sweet soul. I see you. I recognize you. I love you. And this is a gift from me to you. All right, Avery, what we doing? We're candling some eggs. Candling chicken eggs. Let's do it. Let's get it. Now, I know that every single one of these chicken eggs should be fertile. We have four roosters. And we waited long enough. We waited uh, just uh, yep. over a week. Alright, let me get all the eggs that shouldn't be in here. Oh yeah, the ones that she is not allowed no to have. Finch. Finchy Finch baby. Her little egg. Oh, her teeny tiny, huh? Okay. Her contribution. I know you're mad. Alright, I remember I gave her two chicken eggs and one duck egg. That's right. Alright, here's the second one. Alright, so this one's not supposed to be in there. You look too full, ma'am. Oh, she's hiding all the eggs, huh? All right, I know duck eggs can stay. That one's crossed, that one's crossed. No, you can't take them back yet. Cross, cross. I love how they just cross. let you do that. I love how they respond to you. All right, we got three not fertile. Uh, right, some, some newly laid eggs. All right, we're All about right, to take the, those from you, honey. Yeah, grab the ones that we have All to right. review. We gotta use a sheet. We gotta wrap it around to make a little hole. This is Avery's creative way of canning uh -huh. eggs. And it works. Are you ready? Ready. First one. Ah, I'm blinded by the light. I'm blinded by oh. the light. Oh. Wait. Do you see that? That's a veins. Oh. That's a baby. All right, we got a baby. Yep. Sweet. Okay. You see that? That's that one can go back. Let's do it. It's wiggling. Again. Oh, it's wiggling. Oh, that one's ha that. Well, it's mad right now, but <laughs> it's. it's you were about to say it's a happy baby, but it's a mad baby right now. <laughs> are these ones are the tricky ones because they're speckled. Mm. Gotta look for the air bubble. All right. Where is it? I don't think this one has babies. Mm -hmm. Maybe you give it a little, it? little more time. I don't see it either, but maybe give it some more time. I think, hold on. I think it's just speckled. Wait, what's that? I think I see a vein. Oh. Yeah, I would give it a little more development and then we'll see. Check again in a few days. Yeah, I think that one's real. All right. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I can already tell. That's a baby. You see that? Yep. See, I see that there's shot. the baby. Dark room. And I that's the that bubble. bubble. I see that that's bubble. Sick. Perfect. Alright, I'm interested to see if the Easter egg I put under there mm. is real. Here it is. Here's the Easter egg. Ready? Alright. This one should be. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a big baby. That is Look definitely perfect. See, there's the baby. Oh. There's the baby, guys. If y'all can see that dark spot, yeah. The little spot. That's the baby. And watch it be a rooster. <laughs> we got a fertile uh, Easter egg, and it's going to be a rooster. It's moving. <laughs> we got a baby. It's a tiny. It's an Easter egg, not just a baby. Right, oh. Let me start putting them. That's back. never going to get old. Making little baby chicks is, like, never going to get old. Now, I gave one of them a olive egg. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I candled that one, so I'm going to check and see. All right, duck eggs. Now, that black duck egg. Yeah, there's there's no way to really candle those, I don't think. I'm going to try. That one doesn't look fertile. That one does not have a yeah, baby. Yeah, let's take that one out. That's Definitely not. not. Okay, which one? What color is that? I'd say that's like greenish. I think yeah, that's, that's a greenish egg. Yeah. I don't think this one's been under long enough. Let's give it a little more time. Wait. Oh, wait, I see something. Oh, I see it. Yep. It's starting to. Yep, it's starting We've to. We've got all That's eggers. a baby. That's a baby. Woo. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, you can see. Oh, dang. I that didn't know. That up. one's not. It's not fertile, but it lit up like a Christmas tree, though. You can see straight through it. Yeah. Some of these are just so transparent. All right. How are you going to do the black egg? It, you can see. Oh, yeah, look. You can see. That's no. cool. The duck eggs, I just don't think he can breed them. Really? Yeah. Our little male can't breed them? Wait. What's that? I don't know. I thought he would good. find a way. Yeah. You want to give All it a little right. more time? No? 
We can give this one a little bit more time, but I know that this duck egg right here is not real. All right, yeah. next again. All right. There's another duck egg right here. Okay. All right. I don't think this one's real either, but mm. there's the yolk. Yeah. There is no baby. I don't see any veins or anything. It Dang. could not be time for them. Yeah, to and they may not uh, be letting him either, you know, because they're finicky sometimes. We're going to have some chickens. Look at that. Oh, There's another wow. baby. That is a baby. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, almost every 99% of these chicken eggs oh, yeah. are going to be fertile. And we have enough roosters. Heaven knows we got enough roosters. <laughs> we have, what, Look five, that. four or five? There's another oh, baby. Yep. So we got one not fertile egg, and that was a bantam, so it's right. okay. That's right. Um, but we have one Easter Egger, mm -hmm. one Olive Egger, mm -hmm. and... Success, yeah. The other four are Bantams. I call it good. Yep. Yeah, you're not spoiled at all, are you, Gary? Oh, yeah. Gary the goat, the cat. <laughs> are you a goat or a person, Gary? We raised you like a person instead of a kitty. You're not spoiled at all, are you, baby? Huh? I need you, baby. Meow. Oh. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. He's a sweet boy. I did sweet boy, Mimi.